Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. I'm so excited for today's video. Couple things, I'm trying to talk a little quietly because I'm in my living room currently where it is empty and so it's very echoey. So I very much apologize if the echo is evident or if it annoys you i'm so sorry <laughs> also i'm filming at night time so if the lighting is a little weird i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sitting by my little lamp that i got at ikea right now it's beautiful i love this thing but that's not what we're here to talk about today so as you read from the title I started my own candle company. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud finally. This has been almost a year in the making and as of today, Wednesday, August 25th, Alchemist Candle Studios is now live. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. I wanted to introduce my brand to you today and talk about how I came up with this, why I wanted to start a candle company, and explain what we currently have to offer and some things I'm thinking about. We are coming up on exciting times. We're coming up on the holidays, which everyone loves a good holiday candle. We're gonna talk about it all. So thank you for clicking on this video. Let's talk about Alchemist Candle Studios. So I mentioned that this has been approximately a year in the making and that is because this idea was birthed during quarantine. I am someone who's always prioritized self-care and mental health and all of the above, but especially during like the height of the pandemic, uh, self-care became very important to me and somehow or another I got hooked on buying like small business candles because I was finding that, you know, like the Bath and Body Works candles and the Walmart candles and all of that that I had been so used to buying for so long, they were just kind of getting boring to me and not that there's anything wrong with those candles or those brands that's not at all what i'm saying um i was just finding myself curious for different unique scents and so i was introduced to this world of small business candle making and i absolutely loved finding new businesses and buying into them and trying out their scents and you know it goes hand in hand right you you find a scent you love and you're happy to have that but you're also happy to be supporting a small business and someone else's dream so i was on this binge of like candles more or less and consuming them and i just couldn't get the thought out of my mind, what if I started making my own candles and coming up with my own fragrances and my own lines? I mean, I know exactly what I want and instead of trying to find an exact match from someone else, why don't I just make it myself? And so that's where the idea came from and it kind of just started to snowball and soon enough I was planning our logo, the name, what kind of lines I wanted to do, all of those exciting things that come along with starting a business and being a business owner. And it's just been a thing I've been working on ever since. I also want to talk about the logo for a second because I'm particularly proud of this logo. I don't know if proud is the right word, but the logo is a dopamine molecule. And I chose this for two reasons. One, if you don't know, my background, my academic and like professional background is in biology and psychology. So I took a lot of chemistry courses during my time in college. I spent a lot of time learning about how chemicals affect the brain and all of this really cool science-y, nerdy type stuff. Um, and dopamine is a really cool molecule because it's referred to as the feel-good hormone. It's part of what affects your brain in making you feel good. But I just thought, how cool would it be to, to take this molecule that played such an important role 
during my self-care time in quarantine in the height of the pandemic and couple it with my background in psychology and all of the studying I did to come up with this creative scientific company. Like it, it combines all of the things I'm so passionate about like nothing else ever has. Um, it allows me to be nerdy and it allows me to do math. I love math, I know, that's weird. <laughs> but it, it allows me to figure out fragrance oil ratios and wax weights and things like that and test out new fragrances and scents and it it allows me to experiment again while also feeding into my creative side which is such an important component of myself. I would be nothing without my creativity like it is so important to me <laughs> um, and so anyway I just I thought it was so cool how those two could come together and I could encompass that in a logo that is the basis for this whole company. If you've been around for a while, you know that this is not my first rodeo with having a business. Um, it is my first time with physical products, however. Uh, but one of the keys to having a successful, unique business is to come up with things that other people aren't doing. It's to have that innovation and that creativity. And something that has been in my mind from the day the Alchemist Candle Studio popped in there <laughs> was to have concrete candles. I've just thought from the get-go that that would be such a cool thing to have and to do. And one, I can make them myself, which is amazing. Like I, I love being able to be hands-on with my business and create things physically with my own two hands. And also, my aesthetic is very industrial and modern, and so I just love the vibe that that gives. And so a big part of Alchemist Candle Studios is it's all concrete, hand-poured concrete and handcrafted vessels, along with natural soy wax candles. So that's a little bit about how Alchemist Candle Studio came to be, and I really want to introduce you guys to my starting scents and starting products that are now live to the world. <laughs> Before we dive into the candles, I really want to show you our candle tray. So this is the first product I want to show you. It is a hand-poured concrete candle tray. It has little bumpers on it too. These are for sale for $20. I will leave like the dimensions and all of that on the screen for you here. But these are so cool. They look great with the candles, obviously, but they can be used as a jewelry tray. They can be used for anything, really. Um, I have both sealed ones and non-sealed ones, simply meaning the sealed ones have a sealant on it so that they are water and liquid resistant. I would say, I don't want to say proof because you still have to be careful with them. Um, concrete is a very porous material, so it does stain very, fairly easily. So you got to be careful, but yes, these are our concrete trays. Love them. I have like three of them scattered throughout my house that I just use for random stuff. I have one in my bathroom, one in my kitchen, one in my living room. They're great. They're really cool. And they make great gifts too, or, um, like I said, coupled with the candles, they make for a really cool aesthetic. So let's jump into the actual candles. All right, first up here, we have our black absinthe candle, which comes in a cylinder concrete votive. All of my candles are currently four ounces or 113 grams. That is the only size we have available right now. I do have plans on creating bigger sizes in the future, but for now, that's that. So a little bit about Black Absinthe. Its scent profile for its top notes are saffron and apple, middle notes of blackberry and vanilla, and then a base 
fragrance makeup of anise, patchouli, and amber. There's a lot of black currant in there as well. That's where the black comes from. And I would say this is the strongest scent in the line and it's very warm and seductive. So you can obviously read more about these. I will have the link to my shop in the description of this video. But yeah, black absinthe, very sexy, very musky, but it's also sweet. Um, you can definitely smell the amber in it. If you are an amber person, you would really love this one. It's a good one. Amber and berries, I guess, would be a good way to describe it. Switching gears, next fragrance we have is Gardenia. Now this one comes in one of our square votives. Again, four ounces. It's the same amount of wax in both of them. This one, oh, it's so good. I am not typically a floral person. However, this one just smells absolutely incredible. It smells like gardenia, obviously, but its scent profile is a little more complex than that. I'll break it down for you. So the top notes are of lily and pear, middle notes of lilac, rose, and jasmine. I will say you can smell the rose in it too. Um, and then the base notes of vanilla and gardenia. This, oh my god, it is such a good spring and summer scent. So if you're trying to hang on to the final days of summer here, this would be an excellent scent for you. I think it goes really well in like kitchens and bathrooms because it's very fresh. It's very refreshing as well and it's just a beautiful scent. Um, if you've smelled the Crystal Gardenia perfume by KKW. It reminds me of that, but not as intense. Um, it's very light and it's just oh, so yummy. I love this one. This is the only floral in the line. I'm, again, I'm not much of a floral person. And so I, with this first launch, was being a little bit selfish. Uh, so we only did one floral and that's the one, but it is a beautiful one. You will not be disappointed with that. Okay, next fragrance, three of five, we have white tea. This one also comes in a square votive and it's a little, it's a little bit spicy. So it does smell like white tea, obviously, but it has kind of a kick to it. So it's scent profile. Top notes are bergamot and mandarin. Middle notes of thyme, jasmine, and ginger. And base notes of both white tea and chrysanthemum. This one's also a refreshing scent. I would say it's good to close out summer with and it would also be a good fall fragrance as well because it does have that hint of like spiciness, that ginger and thyme. You can, you can pick up on that, but very refreshing, very almost crystalline in a way. It's a good one. I like white tea a lot. I was mistaken. White tea comes in a circle one. I'm so sorry. White tea is in a cylinder vessel. <laughs> I'm saving my personal favorite two for last. So second to last, we have teak and oud. Oh, this one's so good. This one does come in a, <laughs> a square vessel. Oh, it's, this is such a good fragrance. It's very unique. It, definitely has both of those woods to it but it's also sweet and oh it's such a yummy fragrance perfect for this time of year going into fall this would honestly be a good year-round fragrance as well um if you like woody scents which i definitely do <laughs> some of my favorites teak and oud's scent profile is of top notes, amaretto, middle notes of teak and balsam, and base notes of rum, musk, and oud. Such a sexy fragrance, but not like overpowering either. It's definitely one you could burn all day and you're not gonna get a headache or anything like that from it. It's mm, exquisite. And finally, my personal favorite of the whole line and possibly my favorite candle I have ever smelled. It is so 
good. We have my vetiver candle. Now this one comes in a cylinder. Oh my God. I have never smelled anything quite like this fragrance. It is so unique and so addictive. Oh my God. If I could just smell the scent all day, every day, oh, I'd be one happy girl. <laughs> um, it's very hard to describe, so let me go ahead and break down the scent profile so that it has top notes of bergamot and lemon peel, middle notes of hemp and cedar, and then base notes of vetiver, musk, and amber. I will say I don't get much amber from this one. Um, it is supposedly there and I've included it. It is so hard to describe, but it's also unlike any other vetiver scent that I've smelled. So it almost has a grassy essence to it, which if you don't know what vetiver is, it's actually the root of a grass plant. And so that makes sense. That's where that comes in. This is one, you have to try this one. If you get any anything from me at all, let it be the vetiver candle. Oh my god. This is, this will never leave my store, ever. <laughs> so those are all of the candles I am launching with. Again, there are five in total, and I am really looking forward to adding in more scents. I'm actually testing a couple new scents to add to just my regular line um so there will be more to come of course these will be restocked as soon as they go out of stock and like i mentioned in the beginning we are coming up on the holidays so i'm planning on launching fall fragrances in september and then moving into winter and holiday fragrances at the end of October, right after Halloween, I'm imagining. So there's, there's so much to come. I am playing around with different styles of concrete, like different stains, different colors. Uh, so there's a lot on the horizon for Alchemist Candle Studios. And I am just, I am so happy to be sharing this with the world. I know how much joy candles have brought me and if my candles can give even an ounce of that to anyone else, that makes all of this worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and go get a candle. I, I can't believe saying this. I can't believe it's out there. I can't believe these are available for you to shop. Um, the link will be in the bio. Right now, I'm just on Etsy, but I do have big plans of moving on to a more permanent website of my own in the near future, hopefully before Black Friday. Um, that is the goal anyway, but for now we're on Etsy and I would love to see you come say hi in my shop. And with all of that being said, thank you again for watching. I can't believe this is out in the world. I am so excited, but welcome Alchemist Candle Studio. It's here to stay and you can expect candle videos from me in the future. Of course, that's not what my entire channel will be shifting into, but I would definitely love to share more about this part of my life with you guys if you'd be interested. And with all of that being said, I will see you in my next video. Bye.